the good news you are in a right place in this step by step tutorial i will take you through the seamless process of transforming from chrome os get back to windows don't fret we have got you covered let's make the switch together so friends first of all just open a browser and search for ventoy open the ventoy website go to download section here you will find the iso link just click on the live cd iso it will open a new page just over here click on iso just it just wait a little bit download will be started okay the download has been started after downloading ventoy you will have to download windows 10 iso file to download windows 10 just search for windows 10 download and here you will find the very first link download windows 10 disk image just click over here now scroll a little bit and just select the edition windows 10 multi edition iso just click confirm and now just select the language then confirm and just to select whatever you want to download if your computer have below 4 gb ram then downloads 32 bit and if your computer have above 4 gb ram then download 64 bit whenever you click on the 32 bit or 64 bit section the download will be automatically started okay after downloading now just search for chromebook utility and here you will find chromebook utility just open it and here you will find add it to your browser just add it and after adding just click on the icon and here you will find chromebook recovery utility just open it now you can close the browser now just insert a minimum 8 gb pen drive now just open the file explorer and go to download folder here you will find winter iso live just right click on it and zip selection just wait a few seconds okay it's completed now just minimize it and here go to settings and use local image here you will find the winter zip file just select it and open select your pen drive and click on continue again create now you will have to wait here for a few seconds okay it is done now just click on done now just shut down your pc and access the boot menu of your pc now restart again and access the boot menu of your pc to access boot menu you can refer this photo otherwise you can search on google from the boot menu just select your pen drive and hit enter here you will find ventoy gui the first option just here you select the ventoy 1.0 live cd gui just hit enter wait a little bit on this screen your pen drive will be automatically selected if you want to change the language and if you go to option then you will find partition style if you are using gpt then use gpt gpt is best just select gpt it is selected as gpt just click on install then ok again ok and your pen drive will be formatted and created as a bentoid disk ok now it is done now everything is done now just close it and your pc will be restarted automatically to chrome os after restarting your pc just open the file explorer and here you will find the pen drive has been changed just go to download folder and you have downloaded the windows 10 iso file just right click on the iso file and copy it go to the pen drive and open the vendor folder just right click on here and paste it just wait a little bit to copy the windows 10 iso file okay the copy is completed now just close everything and again restart your pc and boot your pc with the pen drive just shut down your pc again turn on your pc and access the boot menu of your pc from boot menu just select your pen drive and hit enter now this time you will find that windows 10 iso file is showing just hit on enter and select boot in normal mode press any key to boot windows on this screen just select your region and language then click next click on install just accept the terms and conditions and click on next select custom installation now you will have to delete all the partitions which you have installed in my case it is partition one so to delete the hard drive completely just press shift plus F10 on your keyboard and command prompt will open just type disk part and hit enter you can type list space disk hit enter now you'll find that i have installed two ssds one is 156 gb and another is 150 gb and i have installed chrome os on 150 gb that is this drive so then just type cell disk in my case disk number one is chrome os installed drive then i will select one in your case it may be zero one or two just hit enter and just select just type clean and hit enter okay the drive is successfully cleaned now just close the cmd and just refresh it now you can see drive one is unallocated 232 gb just click on new and apply okay it is selected just click next and installation has been started